Of all the strange modern political bedfellows, no partnership is stranger to me than that of progressive LGBT advocates and their fervent protection of political Islam. But bedfellows isn't even the appropriate term because the love between these two isn't mutual. In this metaphor, one bedfellow has the other chained to the bed for some torturous abuse. And it's one thing to endure abuse or tolerate abuse. It's quite another to defend the abuser, or in this case, the ideology that justifies the abuse. Enter Sally Cohn, CNN contributor and essayist, self-described progressive lesbian commentator, working to promote LGBT equality and defeat the ideology that seeks to destroy them. I am a progressive lesbian talking head on Fox News. So I go on television, I debate people who literally want to obliterate everything I believe in, in some cases who don't want me and people like me to even exist. No, not political Islam. She means American conservatives. Sort of like Thanksgiving with your conservative uncle uh, on steroids. This week, Sally's real enemy rustled her jimmies. Donald Trump proposed to vet immigrants incoming to the United States for allegiance to Sharia law. You know, the Islamic law that governs the areas of the world in red here, where Sally's lifestyle is criminalized, sometimes punishable by death. And that's not minority opinion imposed on a moral majority. 80 plus percent of global Muslims believe homosexuality is immoral behavior, and a similar number believe society should reject it. Quote one educated Tunisian imam, God is very straightforward about this. Not we Muslims, not subjective. The Sharia is very clear about it. The punishment for homosexuality, bestiality, or anything like that is death. We don't make any excuses about that. It's not our law. It's the Quran. But Sally knows better. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Tweeting to Donald Trump, many progressive Muslims, the ones we should support in ideological fight against extremism, believe in Sharia. Right, don't forget the progressive pro-LGBT Sharia countries. Like, everything is awesome, Stan. It's really small on the map. You gotta zoom in to see it. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of the team. Everything is awesome. We need to prop up that kind of progressive Islam. Now, we could take the easy route here and dismiss Sally's absurdity immediately without any sincere consideration. And who could blame us? She says the only reason people vote Trump is because he's a white man. People are only voting for Donald Trump. Most of his supporters are only voting for him because he's a white guy. And frankly, uh, if he were a woman or if he were, I don't know, let's pick Latino, Muslim, any of the groups that he's stoked hatred amongst his supporters, if he were any of those, I don't think he'd be getting support either. Yet writes about her own support for Hillary, I want to celebrate it. Bask in it, grin and hoot and holler. I don't want to process my own unarguable residue of internalized anti feminism that makes me afraid to play the gender card. I just want to grab the damn card and wave it proudly. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just as progressive. I am, after all, voting for the first orange president. And then there was Sally's great point after the Orlando nightclub shooting in June. What about the mothers and fathers who have lost their violence to white guys with AK-15s conducting mass shootings? Why not profile them? Well, mostly because they don't exist. Nobody has ever lost their violence to an AK-15. But yeah, we all know what Sally means. You shouldn't be able to pick up an AR-47 at Targmart without even a credit check. That's just common sense. And of course, there was Sally debating both Ben Shapiro and herself on institutional prejudice at Politicon this summer. The vast majority of people who are stopped in prison are black and Hispanic. That's because the vast majority of people in New York City who, are, who actually commit gun crimes are black and Hispanic. I'm sorry, I can't do anything about that. statistical regressions. Sally didn't lose that debate, though. 
Politicon is institutionally sexist. This history of nonsense is sufficient to dismiss Sally's latest round outright. But let's try to understand what she means and why she defends political Islam so vigorously. As far as I can tell, Sally is arguing two things. First, that religious bigotry exists across religions, and Islamic ideology is no different. And second, that Sharia law is not inherently opposed to LGBT rights, and has been mischaracterized and misunderstood. Let's consider her stances in that order. Regarding opposition to LGBT rights, Sally says, hey, right-wing Christians desperately trying to point out that right-wing Muslims are more anti-gay than you are, your guilt is showing. Love is love is love is love is love is love, and homophobia is homophobia is homophobia is homophobia is homophobia. Oof, right in the feels, 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 feels. But does this reasoning withstand scrutiny in the brain, 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 brain? I think even Sally would admit that the statement love is love has a hidden asterisk. And the footnote reads, between two able-minded consenting adults. Love is not love when an adult man wants to love his child bride or his sister bride or his canine bride. I'm not saying pedophilia incest, or bestiality are the same as homosexuality. I'm saying these are forms of love that involve victimization of somebody else. And so love is love within certain degrees that we have defined as socially acceptable. I bet Sally would admit that. If you're willing to admit there are degrees of socially acceptable love, Surely you're willing to admit there are degrees of socially acceptable homophobia, presuming you characterize any skepticism of LGBT lifestyles as homophobia. If you grant the pedophile is different from the gay couple next door, why wouldn't you grant that the cultural conservative is different from the executioner? In both cases, we have one person who wants to victimize and another who just wants to be left alone. Regarding Sharia law, Sally says, educate yourselves, stop lumping all Muslim believers with extremists, linking this article, five myths about Sharia, apparently debunking the myths that Sharia is Islamic law, Sharia is the law of the land in Muslim countries, Sharia is anti-woman, Islam demands brutal punishments, and Sharia is about conquest. Claiming these are all myths seems highly contentious to me, but... I'm not an expert on Islamic law. I only know what I see. If these are all myths, why isn't everything is awesome, Stan, a real thing? Why don't we see a single majority Muslim country with freedom for its citizens, whether personal, civil, economic, or any combination thereof? The highest ranked majority Muslim country on the Human Freedom Index is Turkey at rank 62 out of 152 countries. The country currently rounding up political dissidents for torture, beating, rape, and potential forthcoming execution is the pinnacle of freedom in the Islamic world. Now I know what you're thinking. Everything is awesome, Stan, isn't real because it's ideologically opposed to the doctrine of Islam as enforced through Sharia law. But you're wrong. Everything is awesome, Stan, doesn't exist because all the world's Islamic countries are doing Sharia wrong. But Sally Cohn can help. Sally Cohn can tell them how to do it right. And that's why one genius man started a petition on change.org, so we can make some progress. A lot of right-wing Nazi bigots are saying Sally Cohn is an idiot for showing support for Sharia law, especially considering that she is a gay woman. As progressives, we know both Sharia law and Muslims are tolerant and very LGBTQ friendly. In order to show how LGBTQ friendly the Sharia and its practitioners are, Sally Cohn should spend a week's holiday proudly displaying her homosexuality in Raqqa, Riyadh, or any other place where Sharia is the law of the land, without guards, of course, to show how safe and how pro-LGBTQ these practitioners of Sharia law are. I signed the petition, and I hope you will too. Just don't type anything mean in the message box, because if you do, you're no better than the guy who's going to throw her off a building when she gets there. Homophobia is homophobia.
And you're both bigots. Thanks, as always, for listening and for supporting this channel. Always appreciate that thoughtful discussion down below and especially over on Twitter. That is at Skag underscore three. You're always welcome to come hang out and chat in my live streams. Those are linked down in the description. Looking forward to it. Okay, bye.